Hello friend, welcome back to my lecture on uh, AWP. So today we will discuss about uh, layout manager. So there are different layer, different layout in Java AWP, and these layouts are body layout and grid layout, card layout, flow layout, and grid bag layout. Basically, the default layout is the flow layout. Uh, it arranges the component in variable length row and row wise it arrange the uh, elements and components and border layout arrange the component along the side of the container uh, and in the middle and card layout arrange the component in card only one card visible at a time the first card will be visible and then accordingly we'll, we can display the uh, other card also and grid layout align the component horizontally and vertically components can be different sizes when the component can be different sizes then we will have grid layout and in case we have fixed line component then we will place them row and column so uh, these are the five different layout so basically this layout is used to arrange the component arrange the different AWT component uh, in our computer in our window so this is uh, important part of this uh, AWT and you can see the uh, first one is the card layout so first of all I am showing the example of card layout I'm sorry flow layout so here is the example public class flow layout example extend update so in this flow layout, layout you can see the diagram in this diagram we have been uh, the different buttons and these buttons these buttons are arranged in uh, first line when the first line will complete then it will move to the second line so accordingly it will move so line by line uh, component will be added and fixed in um, this layout and you can uh, see the program public class pro layout example extend applet so uh, this is the uh, this is displayed on the applet and init is the function and we have uh, mentioned here set layout new pro layout set layout new pro layout and we have mentioned here uh, the layout so this is the function set layout and uh, uh, we have uh, configured here the layout will be pro layout in case of border layout we will write here new border layout so we have added here add new button 1 add new button 2 add new button 3 add new button 4 add new button 5 and add new button 6 so new button by new button we are adding the different buttons and here caption 1 2 3 4 5 6 so these are the caption so when we will display when we will execute this program this will be displayed like that so uh, you can see here again you, you can see here every container has layout manager so we have been five layout and every container and we know the container in previous class we have uh, studied about the container container are the uh, panel or window are the container so you can see here in AWT panel window are the container inside the window we have been frame and dialog and uh, then we have file dialog so we have been different company uh, uh, container and applet is a part of this panel so these are the different containers so we can use these containers in awt as well as in java swing also j uh, added j uh, in place of panel we will write here j panel in, in when we will use java swing and rest is at, uh, same as java awt but the component of java swing are the lighter than java awt so these are the programs and uh, we have seen um, five uh, different layout manager in Java AWT. By using these layout, layout manager we can arrange the element or component in uh, different order. So the different default layout of uh, for a panel is flow layout and applet is a uh, panel. Applet is also called panel. I have shown you uh, just now and um, therefore the default layout of the applet is the flow layout by default we have been flow layout and we will use this function set layout new flow layout a new border layout new grid layout new grid bag layout new car layout whatever the layout we will write here inside the this bracket inside the argument of this set layout and you could change uh, it to some other layout manager so uh, this can be changed and add component by using this add function we can add the component uh, component may be button may be uh, label it may be uh, checkbox list box anything 
will be the component and add to the component when uh, using the uh, to a flow layout so uh, at a time of flow layout, layout or border layout or grid layout in uh, all the layout we will use add function the function will be same the component added are added left to right in case of that grid layout uh, in case of flow layout in case of in, uh, in case of border layout so one by one we will add the component but in flow layout it will be added left to right uh, in first row then it will be uh, put on second row so if no room or new row is started if there is no space in first row then second row will be started and if there is no row no space in second row then third row will be started so exact layout depends on the size of Active and component are made as small as possible, and full lay layout is convenient but often mm, it seems ugly. So, uh, this is the ba basic layout, but we have to arrange the element in some different ways and we have to use all other layouts. So, this is the example I have already explained you, and we can use uh, the flow layout in frame also. So, this is the first program. In, in this program we are using the applet and the class flow layout example extend applet and we are importing applet as well as awt so we are uh, we are inserting the element we are displaying the element on applet but at the same time we can use frame also so class layout example extend frame so in this case we are using the frame and we are displaying the element on frame but the layout uh, statement will be same as in the uh, applet as well as, in, as as well as in the frame. So we have written here super layout example is the um, constructor of this layout example class and string s is the argument and super s super will execute the base class uh, constructor. So the argument which we have passed to this class and this will be passed to its uh, base class means frame class. So super is the constructor of basically this frame class and we have uh, given here set layout fun uh, function and uh, new layout is the flow layout new flow layout we have mentioned here and label l1 l2 l3 l1 equals to new label name l2 equals to new label age and l3 equals to new label at and we have doing three text fields t1 t2 and t3 t1 equals to new text field t2 equals to new text field t3 equals to new text field so we, we have been three label and we have been three mm, three text field so we, we will add here add l label one and l1 and t1 label name and its text field then label two age and its text field uh, 30 add l2 add t2 and add add l3 and add l, uh, t3 so accordingly uh, name and its text field age its text field add the its text field we will add all uh, three label as well as three text field in front of all three label we, we will uh, place all three text text field and uh, layout is the uh, flow layout and then we will have main program so uh, in case of frame we will write main in uh, not paid function or not init function because frame uh, because this is uh, not extending from applet this is extending from the frame so we will write here console based program so this is the console based program uh, public static void main string args and then we are uh, defining the, uh, the object of the layout example class the previous class is the layout example class and we are writing its object layout example l equals to new layout example and its argument is student so student is the uh, variable name which is given to the frame because this is a student will be passed to this string s and add this s will be passed to the constructor of the frame so it will be passed to the basically it will be passed to the base class frame class so l dot set background its color will be red the frame's color will be red and frame size will be 500 by 500 500 width of 500 height and we set uh, l dot set visible to when we will write this statement when this statement is executed the frame will start to visible and uh, these label and text box text field will be displayed on the uh, this uh, layout example means this frame 
so this way the name of frame is student so this way we can see the frame on console application and in previous program it will be displayed on the applet because the heading is applet applet this will be displayed on applet or other program will display on uh, frame so these are the two programs where we are using flow layout uh, and we are implementing the flow layout now see the another program where uh, we are displaying the element component on border layout on the basis of border layout this is the uh, our format of border layout so in case of border layout the element will be placed on top bottom left right and center so this is the uh, order of uh, placing and layouting the component in uh, applet so this is the applet program you can see the program uh, at most five component can be added if you want to more component add a panel then add component to it so uh, for in case of more of component we have to add another panel so this is uh, the layout set layout new border layout uh, accordingly the previous program where we have written set layout new uh, flow layout and here we have written here new layout new border layout and uh, this is the function by which we can add the button different buttons we have five buttons so add new button north border layout north so accordingly uh, we have been this program and uh, the output also be uh, in the next slide so this is the program where we have uh, output in the previous slide so this is the output we have already given the output north south north south west east west and center so you can see um, the program of uh, this output so we have written here public void init so before init we will write class name and extend from applet and set layout equals to new border layout and uh, we will write here 5 add 1 2 3 4 5 means we have to add 5 element here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 element so uh, all the element will be added here so new button north, new button south, new button east, new button west, new button center, comma border layout dot north. So this north button will be added border layout dot north. We have to mention here ki where we have to add this button. So this button will be added on north and this button will be added on south, border layout dot south. The south button will be added on south, border layout dot east, east button, west button and finally center button, border layout dot center. This is the center button. So you can see here this way we can add the different buttons. So uh, this is the complete example. Uh, the previous example uh, is complete here because we have not mentioned in the previous uh, slide the name of class. So now the class name public class water layout example extend update and init function and uh, before this uh, class we have to write we must have to write import java dot awd dot star and import java dot applet dot star so this way the uh, class will be uh, the complete program is here and uh, the output also be here so in in this program we have mentioned some uh, we have mentioned one two three four uh, six uh, five is not uh, here five uh, uh, is is on south because we have mentioned here two south so uh, it will display it will over override uh, this south by this south so 5 will be overlapped and 6 will be displayed here so all the elements are uh, accordingly we have been this all element so uh, we have uh, we have named the button name 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can uh, add here uh, 5 buttons in this case we can add only 5 buttons so maybe this is limitation of this border layout and uh, we can use this one also so this is one of the example where we have given here panel uh, panel p equals to new panel add p add panel border layout dot south so uh, in this panel we are adding add new button b1 add a new button b2 so then we are, we are adding button and b1 and b2 so in this uh, uh, program you can see in the previous one you can see the previous program uh, suppose we have to add two element on south then 
वन विल बी ओवर राइटेड बाई द अदर वन तो दिस इज ओवर लेफ्ट फाइव इज मिसिंग ईयर बिकॉज फाइव इज ओवर लेफ्ट बाई द सिक्स सो वी हैव टू एड टू टू बटन ऑन दिस साउथ देन वी हैव टू एड ईयर न्यू पैटर्न सो यू कैन सी इन नेक्स्ट लाइफ so in that case we have to write a panel p panel p equals to new panel and that panel will be added on south then we'll write in the next statement p uh, add p comma border layout south so here uh, we are adding this panel this p on uh, the south on the bottom of this window this applet and then we can uh, add two buttons in this panel we are adding add mean p dot add new button b1 and p dot add new button uh, p dot add new button button 2 so 5 uh, or 6 uh, can be displayed like that if we have to display both 5 and 6 then we'll write here new button 5 new button 6 then in in that case 5 and 6 will be displayed as in the previous program in the previous program 5 is over overlap by the 6 so uh, suppose we have to display both of them so uh, we will write here panel uh, panel p equals to new panel and then we will uh, will have to add uh, panel uh, on border layout dot south and then we will write two uh, different statement and these statement are uh, these these two statement uh, p dot add new button p1 and p2 so we can add uh, different panel on uh, north east west uh, south and center so sub panels we can add on each so this is the border layout and this is final last program of border layout where we are using the frame so we can use applet as well as uh, frame so it is alternates uh, of each other so uh, we can use this one also so class border layout the name of class is border layout and extends from frame and uh, it's a constructor border layout is it's, it's constructor and we are passing this thing as super s means uh, the s string which will be passed which will be passed to this border layout class mm, this will be uh, moved to frame class so uh, rest thing will be uh, finally forwarded to the frame class so it is base class and uh, we have mentioned here set layout new border layout so um, again we have been the layout is border layout so we have four label l1 l2 l3 and l4 l1 equals to new label name then age then address and phone and accordingly we have four text box t1 t2 t3 t4 and these text box are uh, corresponding text box of the uh, these four label name age address and phone number and accordingly we will uh, provide the size of each text box t1 t2 t3 so we have been defined very uh, the text uh, size of each field and then we'll add them so add a label one border layout south and add t1 add label two border layout north add t2 add label three border layout east and then t3 and uh, so uh, each pair is added on different location the first label l1 and t1 is added on south l2 and t2 is added on north l3 and t2 is added on east l4 and t4 added on west so uh, this way we have plotted and we have added all the uh, component and in this public static void main string here yes, we have uh, defined the object of border layout equals to new border layout and student is the uh, string which is passed to Uh, as variable which will give you this uh, constructor and then it will be passed to the uh, constructor of the frame so uh, uh, in the next statement l dot set background color will be red uh, the frame color will be red and the size of frame will be 500 by 500 and l dot set set will be equal to so this is the same set of statement as in previous pro program of flow layout so by this statement it will visible and it will display uh, after the execution of this program so this is the program of border layout so uh, guys today i have discussed you about flow layout and border layout so you can have used the program and you can see the difference between the output of these two so thank you thank you very much for uh, listening my lecture and uh, thank you